Because of Winn-Dixie by Kate DiCamillo. Here is a quick description of the characters. Opal is a 10-year-old girl who has just moved to a new town because of her dad's job. She's outgoing, friendly, she has a heart of gold, and she's lonely and looking for new friends. Winn-Dixie is her dog, who she finds in the grocery store named Winn-Dixie. Her father is a preacher. He is reserved, or as Opal says, he's like a turtle who pulls his turtle head back into his turtle shell. He spends most of his time writing sermons or thinking about sermons or thinking about being a preacher. Here's a brief description of the plot. Early on, we learn that Opal's mother abandoned her and her father when Opal was just three years old. Opal doesn't know much about her mother because her father never talks about her, and Opal can't remember her because she was so young. Opal finally gets the courage to ask her dad about her mom. She says she's 10, and she deserves to learn 10 things about her mom. Her dad agrees. He tells her that her mom was funny, that she loved a good story, that she had red hair and freckles. He tells her that she also liked to drink, and that sometimes when she started drinking, she couldn't stop, and that made them argue. He also told her that she loved Opal very much. Opal and her father have a complicated relationship. They love each other, but they're not all that close. When Opal talks to her father, she calls him daddy, but when she talks about her father, she calls him the preacher. It's the summertime, and even with Winn-Dixie, Opal is still lonely. Over the course of a few chapters, she finds an unusual cast of characters who end up becoming her friends and who teach her a lot about life. The major three friends are Miss Franny Block, who owns the small library, Otis, who works at the pet store, and Gloria Dump, who is an old woman who the boys say is a witch. Through these friendships, Opal learns many, many lessons. At the end of the book, Opal Opal throws a party at Gloria Dump's house. Everyone comes and has a great time until there's a huge storm, when Dixie is insanely afraid of storms, and so in the middle of the storm, he runs away. Opal and her dad search everywhere for Winn-Dixie, but they can't find him. When Opal's father says it's time to quit looking, Opal breaks down. She shouts at him, you always give up. I bet you didn't even go out looking for my mama when she left. Her father tells her he couldn't stop her. He tried. He says that over and over, and then he starts crying too. Opal runs to him and hugs him and tells him everything is going to be okay. She repeats the line that Gloria Dump told her. You can't hold on to anything. You can only love what you've got while you've got it. This is the first time that students are doing their vocabulary and non-literal language work independently. When they come to the table, logistically, you'll have students tear off the first page, which is their written response, and then you'll send everyone into a turn and talk to share their vocabulary words and non-literal language while you review the written responses in chart two to three. From here, I suggest you go into the lesson plan, look at all the focus questions and the exemplar responses, and then you'll be all set to teach this book.